Welcome to story time with Blooming Buds. The story's name is Amma. There is a bat in my sampar. The author is Meenka Raman and the illustrator is Adrisha Ghosh. It is a Pratham book publication. Amma, there's a bat in my sambar. Eesh, I do not want her in there. I know you told me to shut the windows tight, but I forgot this one on the right. Phew, the bat has stopped swimming in my food. She seems to be in a very bad mood. She's flying in circles around my face, flapping her wings, making my heart race. Watch out! Hide! Run for your life! She's dropping poop bombs. They're not very nice. So be relax, Amma whispers. I think she wants to go back to her brothers and sisters. Amma turns off the fan and all the lights. I open the windows and don't put up a fight. Amma is right. Is she ever wrong? The bat takes off on her wings, webbed and long. I rush to the window and wave goodbye as she swoops up a tree that touches the sky. It is back to the table for dinner now. Though I'm not sure we should eat that sambar somehow. What to do if a bat comes to visit you? Have you ever seen a bat flying about and felt scared? Did you think the bat was going to sleep in your hair for the night? Bats are not at all interested in hanging upside down from your hair. They would rather rest their feet in the branches of a tree or the roof of a cave or the wall of a building. If a bat comes into your house, don't get frightened. A winged friend may be just as scared as you are. Instead, turn off all the lights and fans, leave the windows wide open and wait patiently. They will find their way out in the dark. The End Amma, There's a Bat in My Sambar It is written by Menka Raman, illustrated by Adrija Ghosh. It is a story weaver platform, Pratham Book Publication. Thank you. Please like, follow and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.